This program contains adult language and situations which may be considered offensive to some viewers and or children, but more likely their parents. Oh my god. Alright people, it's DLF. So, I should, I should, um, address what happened today. Um, so I went and I got, I went to go fucking, hold on. I went to go, uh, I had to go and, I had to go to the mall, to, to the Galleria Mall, and then I had to, I had to go renew my, uh, uh, Best Buy membership, the Best Buy, uh, Gamers Club thing, um, that was $30 for two years, and let me tell you something, um, I think it's a better program than, um, uh, what is it called, the, um, the GameStop Awards. I really do think that. For one, I mean, you're getting a better discount on pretty much everything, so. And uh, two, um, I mean, it's, it's the same price. It's like $15. It's, see, GameStop is $15 for a year. Um, the Best Buy one is like $30 for two years. So it's pretty much the same price. Um, so, so after that, after that all happened, so after all that happened, um, the whole thing was, right before I left, I got a, a, a notification, a text message from Family Video, okay? And they said that I had a free rental, five-day rental. Okay, cool. Um, so that's, I went down to Family Video, and I got me a game, and I asked some people um, what games they want to see me live stream that I should get at Family Video, and <clears throat> some people were saying, um, somebody said Payday 2, um, What's the other one? Uh, somebody else said a Call of Duty game. Well, that's the thing. I don't play any Call of Duty games. Payday 2 may have been a one on the list, but the thing is that they don't they didn't have it there. They didn't have Payday 2. Um at the at the family video, okay? Um I really don't know what kind of game it is. I've never played it. Um, but, let's see. Payday 2 is a co-op. It's co-op. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd like this. Ugh. I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'd like this too much, um, because it's, it's co-op, and I don't know if I even like that kind of shit. Um, yeah, it, it, it looks like, it looks like Call of Duty, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't like it. Um, So, oh my god. So, 
Well, what else do the other people say? Payday 2. Somebody kept, somebody, some asshole kept saying, oh, you should play Cat Quest. Whatever the fuck that is. Cat Quest. Let's look that one up. What the fuck is Cat Quest? Is that even a is that even a, a PS4 game? Yeah, it is. Cat Quest. It sounds so stupid, but whatever. So, I asked all you what I should have got. And I didn't get any of the games that you kiddies wanted me to get. Okay, I none of the games that you, you recommended I even got. Look at that, I'm actually looking on Cat Quest. So I, um, none of the games I get. So what the fuck did I get? Well, I got a game called Rhyme for the PS4. Uh, it's, I've, I've heard of it before. Um, I heard it was supposed to be like a Zelda game. Uh, so, I don't know, I got it. Um... It can't be that bad, could it? I don't know. But, um... Hold on. It can't be that bad. So, that's what I got. Rhyme. R-I-M-E. Rhyme. Like I said, it can't be, it can't be that horrible. So, so I got that. Um, now, there's something else that I, I feel like I, I should address uh, that happened today. Um, that is, um, what happened with this, the, what the fuck is her name again? Um, I keep forgetting her name. Um, Kate Gale, um, it's some YouTube chick that, she started commenting on my videos and I really don't know what to think about it, but, you know, I ended up blocking her. Um, she was commenting on my live stream and I ended up blocking her and the reason I blocked her, the reason she got blocked, uh, was because I, here's the thing, okay, <clears throat> and I was trying to explain this to people, but I don't think it was coming out right. When a woman, okay, when a woman is A, good looking, and 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 B, uh, wants to comment on my shit or tries to send me a friend re request through Facebook or, um, you know, anything else like that. Like, whenever a woman... Uh, you know, messages me on, on OK's Cupid or pl Plenty of Fish, I always get skeptical, okay? And there's a reason behind that. It's a good reason, um, but this is what, this is what goes through my mind whenever this happens. Um, I always, I always assume that the woman is being a catfish. Okay, and that's like when 
you know, she's, you know, it's always somebody, uh, like a, like a dude or somebody that, um, you know, pretends to be a woman and to, to, to you know, fuck with, with, with guys on the internet. And the thing is, is that I have good reason to believe, or not to believe, but I have good reason to be, you know, somewhat suspicious anytime this happens. Anytime I see a woman, a good looking woman, um, on YouTube or on Facebook or Plenty of Fish or OkCupid or any of those websites, and they're messaging me first, okay? I get suspicious because I have been catfished many times in my life. Um, so I do get suspicious, okay? Well, prime example, um... And, you know, it's, it's, it's either between a uh, Juicy or uh, the Internet Collective. You know, it's always between those two that are catfishing me. So, I, I just, whenever it's a, a, a cute chick that's, that's fucking messaging me, I'm always going to get suspicious. Because, here's the thing, Juicy's done it in the past, um, both with, um, what do you call it, the, um, uh, Ben Campanelli account, and the quote-unquote Metal Chef account, uh, where, yeah, the Metal Chef thing was fucking weird. It was fucking weird. Okay, so this whole metal chef, okay, so as it turns out, I, um, the whole story behind the metal chef was that I got a message from, on, okay, not okay, um, plenty of fish, okay, I got a message out of the blue by this, this woman that calls herself Metal Chef. And she, she was pretty good looking. Okay, she messaged me first. And we started talking. Uh, she lived in Niagara Falls. But, um, the thing is, is that she, um, I, uh, I ended up, what do you call it, I ended up uh, doing a Google image search on her, her picture, and I ended up finding her picture uh, taken from, like, some other woman's website. I, it was, I, I believe it was some, like, Tumblr or something. And, um, it was a model or something, but whatever. And, um, I, conf I confirmed her by, I said, listen, you're, is that even your real picture? And she said, no, it's not. I, I said, I, I, I found your, uh, this picture and everything. She said, and she said, give me this bullshit story. Out. how the reason she had to, you know, keep keep the whole thing a secret, how she can't use a real picture and a real name, and everything like that, was because she was on the run from these from these gangs from Boston or something. And the whole story was like far-fetched, like, 
supposedly this woman um, witnessed some gang thing going on back in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, and she had to go and now, now they're like looking for her. Whatever. The whole story sounds so fucking stupid. So she moved to Niagara Falls and she's afraid that if she uses a real picture and a real fucking um, name, they're going to track her down. So. Not to mention the stuff she was talking about sounded very juicy like. Okay. Like a lot of the same like it's really I I don't know if it's because I'm I have autism or whatnot. But I I can pick up on, on certain things that some other people can't. Like, even if it's like on the internet or something, I can pick up on, on certain um, like cadences, if you will, um, if that makes sense. Like certain ways people speak, even on the internet, like, for example, Juicy likes to use a lot of abbreviations and whatever. And this Metal Chef woman was doing the same thing. And, um... Just, there's just this whole thing that, that just reeked of juicy. This whole thing that just reeked of juicy. I went, I, I, I saw it from this metal chef chick. It was obvious that the account was made up in order to get my attention. Okay, like, for example, big fat guy, you know, likes food, so you gotta make, you gotta make it a, a you have to make like a profile where, um, where the, where the woman likes to cook and is in the metal, hence, Metal chef, and then just throw in a, 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 a picture of a good looking woman, and that's bottom line. I asked her for a picture, like a real fucking picture, and she's like, I'm too scared to take a picture. I said, Let's meet up, and she's like, I'm too scared to meet up. It's always about it's always about the anxiety bullshit, you know? I'm always like this. The way I see it is, if you're that scared to, to meet up with someone on the internet, then don't be going on dating websites. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean... You could tell that this met and she messaged me first. Okay. I'm I'm not very what's the word I'm looking for? Um let's face it, I'm not I'm not winning any fucking beauty contests, okay? I'm a big fat guy, okay?
there's like no redeeming factor about me in any way, shape, or form that women just want to fucking come right to me. Okay. I can feel like if I message a chick, I could probably win her over that way, but again, there's no real, I can't really see myself being that desirable to a woman to the fact that she's over there trying to uh, beat my door down. Okay? That's not being negative. That's just me being a realistic person. Okay? So... You know, Juzy's done it. The Internet Collective does it. The Internet Collective thrives on this shit, okay? They will make they will make fake accounts with with pictures of hot women on them as a way to um, to get people to um, you know friend them and it's and it's deceiving and it's conniving. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, um, just the other day, I started getting spammed, like, all kinds of, um, what do you call it, all kinds of, um, oh my god, what do you call it now, all kinds of likes on my, on my statuses, like, all at once. I got, like, 50 likes on my statuses from this woman named Linda Lemon. What, what was the fucking... Linda Lemons. That was her name, I think. And I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? But you like like five like like fifty of my my statuses. Like for no reason. I don't know her. Like all of a sudden, I, I get like 50 fucking notifications all at once because it's Linda Lemon's chick, which is obviously a fake name. It's not liking everything I post. So, I kind of have to be a little bit suspicious when women, like, because, let's face it, who was that other chick that was posting, like, a couple months ago or so, that, that Karis pretty face or whatever? Whoever the fuck she is, we found that was a fake account. Okay, it was fake. She was taking videos from. She was taking videos from other. Um, other YouTube. Um, 
Perk like these fucking makeup videos and re uploaded them. Not only that, but she was taking these videos from the, um, another YouTube person and you other YouTuber was kind of popular. What was her name again? I forget her name, but her name was like Makeup Girl or something. Nerdy Makeup or something. She was taking these videos from this girl and uploading them to her own channel. <clears throat> and passing them off as her own. All of the way. All of the way. The fuck with me. Now, people kept asking me, people kept saying, well, how do you know that this Kate Gale is a fake person? Well, I honestly don't. But, knowing what I've been through, and knowing by experience, I can safely assume that she is a fake person. And that, um, that everything that she, you know, I, um, People are saying, well, she's live streaming now, and she's, you know, she mentioned you on her live stream. Well, I got home, I looked her up, and there was no live stream whatsoever on her page. Not a one. And I thought that was kind of weird. So. So that's the bottom line. Whenever I see women, you know, sending me friend requests on Facebook or sending me, you know, messages on YouTube or sending me Messages on Plenty of Fish or okay Cupid. I'm going to assume it's a fake person. That's the bottom line. I'm not going to lie. I think it's 100% fake. And and before before it happened, I do not want my mom going on and fucking doing an investigation. I don't care, okay? I don't want to get a call from her tomorrow. Saying, you know that, that Kate Gale girl, you know, is fucking, you know, brandy or something. You know, I don't want fucking get a call like that. Not saying it is brandy, but these days, you never know. 
for all I know, it could have been the protected party fucking with me. Um, I, I doubt it's the protected party, you know. Just like I said, like I said, this Kate Gal chick spoke rather intelligently. Okay. If it was the protected party, this is what this is what the messages would sound like. Yo, Dizog, uh, do you want to scissor the new Indian Jones? Move Vizar. I got a new Kizar. We're going to the Stizor. I'm a his house wifey, aka home homebound prostitute. Ha he. Look at Buddy's dick. Just let me get off my, 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 let me get off my job of watching these monkeys. I'm not a babysitter. I'm a zoo keeper. I'm so fucking addicted to brownie caps. Whatever the fuck those are. Now me and Tomers are getting sweepies. No, she sounds like a fucking buffoon. You sound like a bu fucking buffoon, you nigger rachi motherfucker. Joe was the puppet and Danny's the mutant. You fucking nigger rock cheap motherfucker, you. I don't want to watch a whore make pizza. Time to give Buddy a bathy. And if she's pissed off that I'm saying that about her, well, tough shit. Oh, I don't talk, I don't act like that anymore. Yeah, well, 
And she acted like that back in 2006. Or whatever the hell it was we met. Yeah, 2006 she acted like that. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't expect me to believe that she, she became unretarded at all. But, whatever. I don't think this Kate Gale chick on YouTube is the protected party. I don't think so. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the fucking thing. If, if you want to gain my fucking trust, okay? This is everybody here. You want to gain my trust, you, you want to gain my trust, you know what you do? You send me, you send me a fucking message on OkCupid or Plenty of Fish. Okay? You need to be, you need to be 100% prepared to meet up in person you send a, if you send a message first to me, I'm going to expect you to, to show up. Meeting up. Meeting. No more of this bullshit where no more. No more of this bullshit where oh, I got anxiety. I don't want to meet you. You know, and she had a chick. It was like right after the metal chef thing. I had another chick uh, do the same thing. However, um, she 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 wasn't a catfish. I know this for a fact. Um, because she actually has, you know, she actually has a full, um, Facebook with friends and many pictures. And another thing, too, when they make a Facebook, and you know, they have, like, two friends or something, you know, it's a, you know, it's a fucking catfish. Right there. Now, I mean, there was another chick. Her name was um. Her name was Jennifer. I think her name was. I forget the last name. It was. It was Jennifer. It was some like real Italian name. Um, but the problem with her was, um, 
she had the same thing I have, the, the Asperger's and all that. I mean, she was kind of cute. She was kind of, like, chubby. But, you know, she, she was decent looking. Um, glasses, brown hair, whole thing. But, uh, let's hang out. Let's go meet up. Well, I don't know if I want to meet out because I have anxiety. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck? <laughs> you know. It's always about the anxiety, right? And I know she wasn't a catfish, but. My, my whole point here is that. If you have that bad anxiety that, you know, you're so afraid to meet somebody over the internet, that maybe you shouldn't be doing the online dating thing. Okay. Maybe you really shouldn't. Hi, Brady. And she, I don't think she messaged me first, to be honest. I don't really remember. But, whatever. There's another chick. Oh my god, this chick. Um, back when I was like living in South Buffalo, um, there was this other chick that like, really, she really wanted to fuck me, too. And I really can't understand what her problem was. Um, I don't, here's the thing, I don't think that she was a catfish, though. Because she still has a Facebook. And it's still active. That's just the way it is. But her name was Molly. <laughs> oh, that fucking hot. She was fucking hot. Um, but none of the pictures she had of her were like full body pictures. <laughs> Which, okay, like, I don't really care too much if she's, like, fat. <clears throat> I mean, a couple of her pictures were full body. They were kind of older. Um, and she, she was kind of fat, but whatever. I mean... I kind of like that. When she had like fucking glasses and she had like really nice hair, it looked like in the pictures. And it was just like, it was just this really long brown hair. It was like real thick and probably styled it right. We really look all wavy, not like like curly, but like it just had like cur like <laughs> waves in it and shit. And she looked fucking hot. She had big fucking tits too. And uh, there were always pictures of her in her car. And supposedly she 
supposedly she lived like right around the corner from where I used to live in South Buffalo, but we never like fucking hung out. I kept asking her, let's hang out, let's hang out. Oh, um, she kept saying she's busy. Something like, whatever. There was, there was some fucking weird, you know, thing going on between her and her sister. Something about how the one day her sister kind of just showed up at, at, her, at her house and dumped her kids off with her. And now she's like... Now she's like forced to like babysit these kids one day or something. And I don't know what the fuck. But it's always something. And and she actually messaged me first, so it's always something when I'm not saying I'm be honest, I'm not saying it's catfish, but it seems like it's always something when the woman messaged me first, okay? It's always some kind of weird thing. Like, it's always like, you know, she's a catfish. Or she has some kind of weird anxiety uh, behind her. Or... It's always like some kind of weird, you know, backstory. Like, oh, this this gang from Boston wants to kill me because I witnessed something going on. I don't even know. I don't remember anymore. This gang from Boston. Wants me dead. I think she like witnessed a drug deal or something. And now she thinks that this gang from Boston is gonna come after her. Which doesn't make sense because like any gang, like if you witness a fucking drug deal, okay? Chances are they're not going to go after you just for witnessing it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you go to the police over it. You know? Like, if you witnessed a murder, okay... They're not gonna, they're not gonna fucking, uh, you know, unless you witness, the, if you miss the murder, they'll probably kill you. To shut you off, you know what I'm saying? They'll either do that, or they'll, you know, try to intimidate you, or, or whatever. But, you know, they're not gonna... They're not going to try to kill you over a fucking drug deal. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. It was just like... It's just like a lot of this weird shit. There's just more and more weird stuff going on every time. 
Like the whole Juicy connection came in the B when uh, she was saying that um, God, this metal chef chick was saying that when I when I go and do, go traveling, I get a rental car. And when I, every time I see somebody like that, I, I just think of Juicy. Everything's a rental car to Juicy. Like, is that even like a thing, really? Is that even like a thing? Like, That, I don't even think that's like a thing. Like for, uh, okay, like, is that really a normal thing for like when, if people are, you know, going out and go, you know, taking a fucking, uh, to, like doing a road trip or something, do people usually get a rental car to do that? I mean, the only person I've actually known that, that does that is Juicy. It has something to do with they don't wanna they don't wanna ruin their their, their regular car to do it. Or something stupid like that. My mom doesn't do it when she goes to Florida. So, I mean... I mean, that, that just seems like something that... That's like... That's the only person I heard say that was fucking Juicy. I've never known anybody else... That would get a rental car... For a road trip. I mean, what Juicy's saying makes sense. But I, I just don't know if it's like a common thing. My mom doesn't do that, I know that. She just takes a regular ass car and drives back and forth to Florida. Dicktail. Dicktail drives his fucking motor home back and forth from fucking California to Buffalo. You get the fucking, you know, it's just all these little fucking stupid shit. That's why I think it was juicy with the metal chef. I'm talking about Maine. I'm talking about getting a fucking rental car. Jokes about the fruit belt. You know. It, it just, it just reeked of juicy. Okay? Just everything. The, the, the abbreviations, that same cadence when she's, um, when she's typing on the internet. You can tell. You can tell certain people's, uh, cadence. I don't know what you call it, but just some mannerisms that go on when, when you're online. Mm. 
I like peanuts. Peanuts. Made with sea salt. What the fuck is the difference between salt and sea salt? Is there really, is there really a difference? Who knows? But I really got to clean this apartment too. I just don't. I just really have no time. To be honest, um, it's just. It's just. I've been having appointments all week. You know, I got a job interview tomorrow at like 10.30. Uh, I got to figure out how to get there, too. Martin Luther, Martin Luther, Martin Luther King. Ma it's Martin Luther King Jr. day tomorrow. So the bus is going to run on a Sunday schedule, which is weird. It's weird that they're running on a Sunday um, on Ma Ma Martin Luther. Uh, Martin Luther, Luther Jr. Day. That's kind of weird that they're going to be running on a, on a Sunday. Why is that weird? Well, here's the thing. Every other year, okay, last year, every year, um, Here's the thing. Every year, uh, when Martin Luther King Jr. Day comes around, every other year, those those buses run on a on a Sunday or they run on a normal weekday schedule. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It, it, it's not just Sunday schedule. It's called a Sunday and Holidays. So let's say Christmas, the biggest holiday of the year, arguably. Let's say Christmas falls on a Tuesday. Okay? That tu like that Tuesday, it'll run like it's a Sunday. Okay? Because it's, it's, it's Sunday and... Sunday slash holiday. That's what it's called. When you look at the NFTA schedule, it says Sunday slash holidays. So, so every every year, Martin Luth Martin Lufa King Junior Day. Always ran on, on a regular weekday schedule. Okay, for some reason, and it was always up like that. It was always up, you know, announced like that. Like they like they would have like notifications on the buses and shit. And um what would happen is you go and you can see it. It says Mart. It says the blah blah blah. Martin Luther King Jr. Day will run on a on a regular weekday schedule. Okay, that's what it would always say. And what I think happened is 
I think people actually <clears throat> I think people actually sat there and and thought that when when they when they see that they're pretty much calling Martin Luther King Jr. Day a non-holiday. And they they thought that they thought that uh they were the NFTA was being racist. Um so I think that's what happened. People might have complained about it. But I mean that's just the way it is and I mean, yeah, that's that's just the way it is. Every year, it used to be on on a, on a regular weekday schedule, and all of a sudden, this year, it has to be the first year I know of, where it's where it's actually considered on a on a, on a Sunday schedule, Sunday slash holiday schedule. So. I don't know. I think people were, were taking it a little too um, sensitive. I think they were saying, well, you have you have a you have a holiday here, but you're not you're not using a holiday uh, you're not going on a holiday schedule. You're going on a what regular weekday schedule. This is this is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day here. And now he's just on a regular fucking uh, a, a, a regular fucking weekday. I think a lot of people bitched about that. So it's like right here. It says Metro Bus and Rail will run Sunday service blah, 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 for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I think that's a little fucking weird. I mean, gravy, come here. I think. Ow. Ow, what the fuck? I think that's a little fucking weird how that works out. What, what they're pretty much saying. What, what, what I think people were actually bitching about was that why is why is Mart, Martin Luther King Jr. Day always on a regular weekday schedule when it's a when it's a holiday. You know what I'm saying? People bitch are like why is this not on a on a holiday schedule? It's 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 a holiday. Or are you saying that that Martin Luther King Jr. Day isn't a holiday. And, uh. Oh, hold on. I think that's what it would, would happen there. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm like. Maybe I'm like, you know, looking at it a little too much, but I think that's what's going on. So what time do I have to arrive at what? 10.30 tomorrow at this place. And it's going to be tomorrow. Because you have to say that. Because they're going to be running on a Sunday schedule tomorrow. So let's see.
Alright, so I have to get out there. I have to leave here around, I don't know, 840 <laughs> to get out there. I will say that it is on Genesee, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh I'll tell you I'll tell you around where it is. Um Yeah, I'll be honest. It's it's almost near like the fuck. It's not it's not at but it's almost near uh the airport on Genesee. If I can oh there it is right there. There's there's where I'll, uh, I'm looking for right there. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So that's that's where it is. It's like right near the airport, kind of. Um, like it's like one of those things that's like right around the airport, like right around there. So, so then you got the airport, and then what else do I have to do tomorrow? Oh yeah, um, I don't know if it's open tomorrow, but um, I kind of want to um. I kind of want to go, uh, because when I went to the, um, the eye doctor, um, when I went to the eye doctor the other day, um, she gave me a, they gave me a new prescription, but she gave me a, a prescription so I could get a new pair of glasses. It's the same prescription, but I might as well, I might as well get a, a newer pair. You know what I'm saying? And I might as well. Um, so I have to go down there. Where is that? Um, that is, that's almost near the airport. It's, um, oh my god, where is it? It's like, um, oh, what the fuck is it called again? Um, Value Vision. It's like right around there. Then you can go to fucking La Bella Sicilia and get and get yo chicken parm. Then you can go across the street to Ray Gay Sales. What the fuck is I had a dream that I actually worked at Ray Gay. What the fuck is Ray Gay? I, I always think that's such a funny fucking name for a place. <coughs> Ray Gay. Uh. 
there's family doll, family doll hair. I'm still waiting for. I'm still waiting for what's his face to call me back. Eric Katz for for the family dollar. Um. Job. I'm so waiting for that. Ow. I don't know. He calls me, he calls me, whatever. Whatever, whatever. That's just what I'm. That's just what I'm looking. That's just what I'm uh, going for tomorrow. I gotta go for that job interview. So. Now I'm just looking at this fucking map. I'm not even. I'm just fucking looking at a at a, at a random ass map. I'm like fascinated by this for real. <laughs> no, seriously, I uh. I'm like following, oh, it's funny, I followed Eggert Road, I don't know why I fucking did this, but I followed Eggert Road, uh, from, it, it, it went from, it, it, you know, Eggert Road goes from like, Del East Delavan 
Street and uh, East Delavan Avenue in Buffalo, and then it goes all the way through, and it goes up to Tonawanda, and then it and then it turns into um, a Twin Cities Memorial Highway, and then after that it turns into Nash Road. And it goes all the way up Nash Road to, I don't even know where the fuck this is, Lockport Road. I, I think it goes all the way up to like Sanborn. That's really fucking funny actually. I remember the one time I, uh, I actually did a video of this. I remember the one time I, um... I did this video where I went to, like, all of the fucking, um... Oh, what's it called? Um, I went to all of the, um... Oogie Games in Western New York to dumpster dive and one of the ones I had to go to uh, was all the way out in like Lockport, right? And I don't think they have this bus anymore, but I had to go all the way out to Lockport to, to hit that one up and then I had to um, there was a, a, a bus that goes from there, well, there used to be. There used to be a bus that goes from, uh, where am I now? Uh, Lockport. I'm trying to find where, where the fuck it was on this map now. It was like a, it was just this big, like the, uh, I forget where the fuck it was. Uh, uh. Where is it? Where's Locust Street? Locust in fucking Lockport, not the Fruit Belt. Locust, what was it? Okay, here's Lo. Okay. So this bus, okay, this bus left, uh, left like from in front of Sub Delicious in Lockport, uh, or 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 it's like it's like Locust Street and like everything everything fucking it's like their hub right there Locust and Heritage Court and Frontier Place and whatever the fuck else Walnut Street I don't know, but it, it everything left like from there, okay? So I had to go and I had to like find my way to the um, Oogie Games, and then uh, the Oogie Games. I had to walk from the Oogie Games to uh, Locust and whatever it was, but. So, it's kind of funny, like, they, like, back then they actually had a, they actually had a bus that would take you from Lockport, and then it would go from Lockport all the way from Lockport to Niagara Falls. So you're pretty much jumping, like, like, you're, you're pretty much it pretty much stretches the entire like like from one side of the county to the next um, you're pretty much jumping from one side of the county to the next over there um, right so Like, and it, and it went through, like, Sanborn and shit, you know? 
So it would uh, it would actually go like it would actually like go through a Sanborn and it would go it was pretty much all oh, it was just this long ass it was like half hour drive just going down you know where it's just nothing but fucking fields and and fucking you know fucking trees and shit and that's where I was it was really weird and then it just all like it it goes by it goes by like N triple C or as as everyone likes to call that that shit N trip I hate when people say that shit uh, Niagara County Community College. People call people call don't call it that. People call it and people don't say N triple C. Everyone just says N trip. Like retards, okay? Like retards would say that shit. N trip. I hate when people say that. N trip. Hey, let's go to N trip. I don't know. And it, and it like lets you off. If I remember correctly, you can get from you can get from the. Uh, Lockport, and it takes you like right to the casino. But they don't. There's actually another chest. There's actually a Chestnut Ridge Road in fucking Lockport. Whatever. But I, don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny. Gravy, what are you doing? Let's see, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow this road all the way to, try to get to fucking Rochester. Like, like, if, if you were to go, like, 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 actual streets, I'm trying to figure out how would, you, how you would get to Rochester, just doing straight up streets. See, right now I'm in, like, Gasport. Okay. Now I'm in Middleport. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just going down Mountain Road. I don't know. I'm just fucking around. I turned into Freeman Road. Oh, now I'm in Medina. Works Road, Salt Road. Oh, come on. Maple Ridge Road. I'm just, I'm just fucking around right now. Now where am I? 
I'm still in Medina. Like vagina. Like China. Million dollar highway. There's really something that says that. Alright, now we're following the million dollar highway. I'm really kind of interested in million dollar highway. What is that like? Million dollar babies. I learned Highway 31. Oh, now I'm in Albion. Telegraph Road. What did that say? Long what? Long Bridge Road. What if it was just called Short Bridge Road? Sometimes I do this shit just the fucking entertain myself because I'm like so fucking bored I just look at maps of places and I just I, I sometimes I just take like one road like one street where am I now still all beyond sometimes I just take like one street where is this now still all beyond Sometimes I just take like one fucking street and I just follow it all the way to the end. Like I did that one time, uh, I did that the one time, um, where, um, oh, what do you call it? I actually wanted to see how far, uh, Young Street in fucking Toronto was and what I actually found out was it's not really that long West Ridge Road okay now I'm in Brockport Everything is something port. Mm -hmm. oh, shut the fuck up. Now we're just we're gonna follow this all the way to friggin' Rochester. Brockport. Extreme auto sales. Now we're in Spencer Port. Oh, now we're in fucking Rochester. So it seems like it seems like once you hit Manito Road, hold up. It seems like once you hit West Ridge Road and Manitow Road, that's when it starts becoming Rochester. Makes sense, I guess. It says North Greece Street. Yeah, and Rochester has a lot of fucking stupid names for their streets, too. What was the one thing, what was the one street around here? It was, there was like one street that was, that was ridiculous. Long Pond Road.
No, but seriously, there's another street. Where the fuck is it now? Ladder Road. There was one in particular that, that like, it, you wouldn't even want to be caught dead on this street because it was, had such a stupid fucking name to it. It's like, it's like, it's so fucking stupid. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. I know it's somewhere in Rochester, but it's called, like, Patty Cake Road or something like that. I'm so, like, it's some stupid name that, oh yeah, you don't even want to be caught dead with a name, like, caught dead. You don't want to find, you don't want your ass being found dead on this fucking street, you know? Maiden Lane. Okay, that's kind of cool because of Iron Maiden, but still... Barbie Drive. There you go. There you go. That's all you gotta know. <coughs> oh. oh, shit. Cabot Road. Oh, here we are. No, it's not called Patty Cake. It's called Patty Creek. It's called Patty Creek Circle. There, I just found it. Patty Cake. It's like you don't even want to. You won't even want to go there. You know, because, what the fuck is that Arby's that, the, 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 but, uh, my, my uncle's fucking girlfriend went to this Arby's on, I think it was Ridge Road, West Ridge Road, in, uh, in fucking Rochester, and they fucking yelled at her. I'm trying to find it. There's a fucking Arby's somewhere. I don't fucking know. And here we go, we got Wagman over here. What fucking mall is this? Oh, there's a dick sporting it. I like how, you know, I like how when it says Dick Sporting Goods, they, they they capitalize the dicks. And then everything else is just written normal. I wonder if whoever did that was like being a fucking wise ass. I don't know, but they capitalize it's like big D it's like big D, big I, big C, big K dicks. That's all you gotta know. Dick, 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 dick. You know? Would that say Dindu's what? I don't know. Lyell Avenue. There was actually a, uh, there's a strip club on Lyell. It's called the Cordial Lounge. How the fuck do I know that? I don't know. No, I really don't. I'm pretty sure it's right near the gas station. Speedway. I'm, 
I'm trying to look for I'm trying to look for the cordial lounge. Why trading? Sunoco gas station. You know, every time I see Sunoco gas station, I have to laugh. You know, it's it's almost impossible to to feel depressed. If you say that the word Sunoco Station, here's it is, Cordial Lounge, it's like a strip club. It's, it's, it's impossible for, you know, it's impossible for you to, uh, to be depressed when, um, It's impossible for you to be a, a depressed when you say Sunoco Station in fucking Mike Tyson's voice. You go, Sunoco Station. Sunoco Station. <laughs> it's impossible to be a depressed at that point. Alright. Ow. All right, let's look for a house of guitar. I gotta look for tight, tight ass avenue. You gotta look for tight ass avenue. And then, and then right around there, that's where you find, that's where you find the, the, the speed humps. There, there's actually a place in Oh, there's a gothic street. Okay, where the fuck is Tight Ass Avenue? <clears throat> I gotta find Tight Ass Avenue. Where the fuck is Tight Ass? Okay, so we're still in Rachacha. Where the fuck is Tight Ass Avenue? Uh, I'm trying to look for tight ass avenue. Where where the where the fuck is tight ass? There's actually a uh what do you call it? There's actually a bus stop that goes right past uh house house of guitar. Cause what every time we every time I've been there with my uncle I, I've seen the bus go by there. Come on. Alright, where the fuck is House of Guitar? All right, now we're in fucking Webster. Now we're in fucking Rochester. That keeps changing. It keeps fucking changing every two seconds now. Here's Rochester. Rochester. Fucking Rochester. Webster. Now we're in fucking Webster. Now we're like in Alex Webster. Penfield, Penisfield, and Crossbow Drive. Okay. Yeah. 
More fucking Penfield. Webster again. Back at fucking Webster. Alex fucking Webster. Come on. I'm like halfway across the fucking state now. Come on. Penfield. Webster. Everything is Penfield Webster. Penisfield Webster. Salt Road. Uh, we get to an actual Kennedy Row. Here we go. More fucking Webster. Webster's Dictionary. Mesa Don. Mesa Don. Jacobs. Oh my god. Can you imagine this is what's gonna happen when I go to fucking New York City? You can fucking you can fuck you can fucking trace the uh the way that I went to what do you call it? Fucking um Toronto. It's real easy to get to Toronto. You can't get lost. Hi, Gravy. Come on, Gravy. Hi. You cannot, for the life of you, get lost in, uh, to go to Toronto. Even a, even a dumbass like me can't get lost. It's pretty much, you cross, you cross the fucking Peace Bridge and you just follow the fucking highway. It's a straight QEW all the way through and it goes around. It's a long fucking drive. It's a long fucking boring drive. It's re it's weird how how they uh, how 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 Toronto is. The entire ride there, you can you can see Toronto like the entire fucking way there. But the problem is is that uh, you gotta, you gotta kind of go up and around Lake Ontario, and it's really weird how you get there. You gotta go up and around, and like Toronto's like, ow, ah, fuck. Like if if Lake Ontario wasn't there, you could just fucking go to Toronto. It's like, it, it would be like. It would probably be like maybe a half hour ride, but the whole thing is you have to go, you have to go up, and then you have to go around the fucking lake, and then you have to come back around. So you, the whole time you could see Toronto off to the distance, and you could see it pretty fucking far too. Ah oh, shit! And um, at some point you could see it like real close, but then then it um. Like, later on in the trip, it, it seems like it's far away. And that's because you're going, like, you're pretty much going like this. And you have to go around the fucking lake. Really fucking weird. Ugh. Hi, Brady. <clears throat> Ooh. Hi there. All right. This is Dragon Lord Frudo, and I approve this message. Thanks in advance for watching this.